Jack, one of the problems that we have as part-time YouTubers is that we have to make these videos when we have time. So sometimes it's not always on the day that they get released, which I think was the case for your video this week. That's rich coming from you. Hello Wally, how's it going? Great video. Centre Parks looks very nice and calming in the background there with the trees. You said about um, humans um, obviously thinking we're the most evolved things um, and then... <laughs> what? I don't even know what I was going to say. You said about humans thinking they're the most evolved species um, but then so, sort of said the downfall is that we were copying um, other animals. Um, it's actually called biomimetics. Biomimetics, um, where we copy things from nature, where things have evolved on this planet for billions of years, they become well adapted to different things. So, for instance, um, the eye can see really well. So, you know, our hands are well adapted for grasping things. So, when we then go and look at all the different um, types of species, there are things that are adapted to certain things that we can put into real life. Um, aeroplanes have been designed off of bat wings and off of bird wings because the design of a bat wing and a bird wing are perfect for flying. Treads on tyres which replicate the toe pads on tree frogs. And nanotechnology services that mimic shark skin. It's incredible, the, especially things like nanotechnology, cutting edge technology that hasn't really gone full scale yet. We're still looking to nature for has it got an example that we can take? So I think it's actually a good thing that we're looking to nature. It would be silly to say, well, let's just go for something else and we'll come up with it in a few years, whereas nature's had billions of years of things that don't work, don't reproduce, and don't survive, um, and then the good things get passed down. That's natural selection, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the sound of this um, bandwidth um, charge. I think that would be really bad. Uh, especially for like if someone comes up with a great idea it's gonna be impossible for them to get it out there if they don't have money if you've got money then it's fine but like you say that is exactly the problem so let's hope that um, Obama does pull his weight there and tells the FCC to F O yes I did miss out on the fillet lander um, thing as you say I can't really record and do everything on a Wednesday so it has to be done before then, so that I'm prepared, so it comes out on the day that we said that we were going to release it on. <laughs> if you watch the intro video, Ollie, I don't know if you forgot what days your videos are supposed to go up, but it's actually Saturdays at 8 p.m., not Sundays at 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, so the fillet had, did have some issues. Uh, basically, um, when it when it went down, it had some really cool backup things. So the feet were basically split. when it went down, the feet had little drills on. They were supposed to drill into the surface, but not just that. It also had like a harpoon sort of thing that was going to shoot down from the bottom of it and also hold it on and keep it on there. However, from what I've heard and from what they know so far, it went down and it didn't have time to drill in or anything and I think it bounced off and they reckon it might have even bounced as high as 100 meters and landed somewhere else. Um, there is a bit of an issue actually, it's not actually that good. Uh, it's landed somewhere where it only gets an hour of sunlight a day and because of this its only source of energy is from the sun. Um, because it only, it's only getting an hour a day it's actually shut down at the moment and it's in standby mode. So all we can do now is wait and hope that it's, that hour a day is going to charge it up enough until it can actually start. But it did take some pictures whilst it was down there. But some awesome, fascinating underwater news. Google have just released 100,000 photos. They haven't just released photos, they have added them to their street view. They're underwater. It's the Great Barrier Reef. You can now go underwater and look around. I've just done it myself. It is pretty awesome. They're very crystal clear. And for the reason that they want to show to help scientists and also to help citizens track um, the damage of climate change because the Great Barrier Reef is at threat at the moment because of uh, ocean pollution. We've got oil spills, we've got other types of um, rubbish like sewerage and th other, you know, things that people throw off boats and things that get washed out to sea from the beach. Book of Mormon was amazing, you need to see it, especially as soon as you live in London. Look forward to seeing your video on Saturday at 8pm. That's everything worth knowing, mate. Stay positive and spread the love.